Here are my three favorite ideas for overcoming a creative block. First idea is to move. When you move your body, you tend to move your brain as well. So get up from the, the, the table or the desk. Just simply move around the room where you're creating as you, whenever you feel stuck. And as you move, you tend to start having some fresh ideas. It'll, it'll start to happen. Now, ideally, you could go and take a quick walk around the block, or if you have time, even come out to, to nature and move your body and as you, as you reflect. And that tends to create some fresh thinking, fresh perspectives, inspiration, etc. So number one is move. Number two is temporary constraints. What I mean by this is to ask yourself a question such as, if, I, if, if, if you were trying to brainstorm what you should be talking about at all, about your work, for, if you wanted to blog about your business and you're like, well, what should I even talk about in my, about my business? Then ask yourself the question about temporary constraints. If I could only ever talk about three things about my business that might interest a potential client, what must those three things be? And just answer that, the, that question. Now you may come up with more than three. And if so, just keep writing, keep going. The temporary constraint was there just to get you started, okay? You could use temporary constraints at multiple levels. At the top level of the big ideas of, well, what if I could only talk about three things, what might they be, okay? And then you could do it at a smaller level. Once you choose one project or one idea to talk about, you could say, if I could only talk about three parts of this one idea, what must those three parts be? And just start writing and again, don't. You know, keep going if you do more than three, but just that's how you get started with creativity, okay? And then the third idea I have for you is stages. Whatever you are trying to create doesn't have to be created in one sitting. That's a common mistake. And, and it doesn't have to be created perfectly this time, okay? Whenever I am creating ideas, I always think, well, this is just one stage. Uh, this is just one version of the idea and I'm gonna put it out there and maybe in six months I'll create a better version of the idea maybe in you know a year who knows so this is just the one stage one version of the idea maybe I should call it versions instead of stages so think about creating uh, what you already can know now not a perfection thing but just whatever you can now knowing that there's always a future version that you can create so there were actually two other ideas that I wanted to share, but I wanted to keep this video relatively short. The, the ideas four and five will be in the notes of the video, so be sure to take a look at that. But I hope this gets you started on overcoming your creative blocks, and I wish you a lot of joyful creativity going forward. If you have ideas uh, that have helped you overcome creative blocks, I welcome you to comment below this video and help out others who may be watching this as well.